Hello guys, I hope you all are doing great. iPhones were always very expensive. In addition to that, Apple never gave us a chance to use micro SD cards as other manufacturers did. To save money, I always had to choose the lowest storage option for my iPhone. I think a lot of you guys were doing the same kind of thing. Actually, this is a very bad strategy and finally you will be paying more for your iPhone on a long term basis than if you would pick up a bigger storage option from the beginning. Let me explain you why. I bought this iPhone 6s 16GB in 2015 for 750 euros. Three months later, I was already out of memory. I was forced to delete my pictures, videos, apps and games to be able to use my device. Finally, it was such a pain in the ass that one year later I bought myself the iPhone 7 Plus 32GB version for 909 euros. Same thing, I was running out of memory in a year or something like that. After that, I got myself an iPhone 10. 256GB version for 1300 euros. This time I decided not to save money and go with the highest storage option. I was using it up to 2022 so for almost 5 years. By saving money and choosing low storage capacity iPhone, sooner or later you will be running out of memory. And of course, you will be forced to purchase a new iPhone. It's a revolution journey. Anyway, in this video I will show you how to increase your iPhone storage without spending thousands of dollars. As I mentioned before, even in 2022 you can still use the iPhone 6s or iPhone 7 and it will be more than enough for a basic usage. But how to deal with 16GB or 32GB storage problem? The cheapest option is to buy this small dongle from China. A lightning to USB cable. Do you know that you can actually connect a USB drive to your iPhone? It's a revolution, Johnny. Well, actually it works. You can transfer your photos, videos, some files to the USB drive and it will liberate some space for your apps or other data on your iPhone. This method has its pros and cons. Pros. The cheapest option. This dongle costs just 5 euros plus you probably have a USB drive at home already. You are not modifying a memory slot on the motherboard, so no risk of damaging your iPhone. Cons. You need to unplug your dongle anytime you want to charge your iPhone. And let's say it looks not very aesthetic. All in all, I think it's a good solution to save your money and keep your actual iPhone for at least some time. If your device is not broken, it can still be used for many more years, it's better for your wallet and it's better for the planet. I will leave a link in the description of this video for this dongle, for those of you who are interested. Please tell me in the comment section what do you think about this idea, would you rather buy a new iPhone or use this dongle instead? Anyway, this USB to a lightning cable can be a nice accessory to your iPhone, for just 5 bucks it's totally worth the money. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give a like, check out my other videos as well. Thanks for watching, see you next time on YouTube, bye bye.